Researchers have uncovered a new pint-sized dinosaur that may give paleontologists a better idea of how dinosaurs evolved from their earliest days. The long-necked Eodromius, the dawn runner, was about four feet long and weighed only 10 to 15 pounds. It was a carnivore and a fast runner. Two individual skeletons were found side by side in the foothills of the Andes Mountains in Argentina, in an area known as the Valley of the Moon. National Geographic explorer-in-residence Paul Serino says this discovery gives scientists the earliest look at the development of the dinosaurs. It was a bipedal, two-legged predator. It chased down its prey, grabbed onto it with nice grasping hands, and munched on it with, with recurved teeth for slicing flesh. It is the best view we have of where the predatory lineage comes from, where ultimately the, the, the descendants like Tyrannosaurus rex, where they began. Radioisotopes place the age of the new species skeletons at about 230 million years old. Serino and the report's lead author, Ricardo Martinez of Argentina's National University of San Juan, describe their team's findings in the January 14th issue of the journal Science. Martinez calls the find the single best view we have of the birth of the dinosaurs. The area in which Eodromius was found was once a rift valley in the southwest corner of the supercontinent Pangaea. Volcanoes over time spewed ash into the valley and sediments covering the skeletons accumulated a thickness of more than 2,000 feet. Today we can look at it as a mounted skeleton. We can actually put flesh on it. This is the most complete picture we have of what a predatory dinosaur lineage, what it looked like at the very beginning. And it was small, but nasty. And this animal was fast. Eodromius is believed to be a precursor to later meat eaters called theropods, and eventually to birds. <laughs>